How's everybody doing? We're doing great. So, um, AJ, um, how would you like to watch TV in the back room? I'll bring you a big glass of milk. So, uh, how'd your talk with AJ go? Jerry and I managed to get the words out. Do you think AJ understood? He had a lot of questions, and I'm sure he'll have a lot more, but I think he's fine. Thank God. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. JR. I really loved him. Let me guess. The honeymoon's on hold. I hope the tickets are non refundable. Meet me in the park. Ten minutes. Don't be late. Miranda? It's Miranda? It's Caleb. Mr. Cooney. No, Caleb. I I've been waiting for you. If it's about that party, you can... No, forget. it's about David Hayward. I, I need to know if you've had a chance to look into his acquisition of Pine Valley Hospital. If you have found something that we can use to prove that it was illegal. I'm working on it. Well, you need to work faster. You need to find some way to take away David's power. This kind of thing takes time. Well, I, I, I don't have time. Are you all right? No, I, I, I'm... Tr I'm sure he must be able to see that something is going on with my eyes and I'm trying to find my purse, which would be a lot easier if I could see. Thank you. I'm, I have an infection. And it affects my eyesight. But eventually, I will go blind permanently. I'm sorry. Is there something I can do? Yes. You can find what I need to bring down David. I was trying to keep my condition from him, but he has found out about it. And now he is watching every move I make. One mistake, one, and he will have me fired. I'll never be able to practice medicine again. You're still practicing? I'm not treating patients. But yes, I am chief of staff, and my top priority is securing my replacement. Now, I had someone in mind, but it didn't pan out. Well, there must be other candidates. Listen, Caleb, I am racing against the clock. My vision is deteriorating every day. Which means there is a greater and greater chance that David will find a reason to cut me loose. And that means a hospital that I love will fall apart. Now we need to stop him. What? What? I smell smoke. Oh, yeah, I don't want to forget that thing. Oh, great! That is just great! What? I'll give you one task. What? One teeny tiny little cotton we got... task. And what are you doing? We had busy. Oh, we were that's talking. It. That's it. I am cracking the we whip. Were... Bianca, I if trust. you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. You're going to have to stuff those in. Oh, wait, shovel, what about shovel. us? Well, what about you? Here, Here. you can take I this list. Get on the horn and start confirming all those deliveries. Okay, well, I'll all help right? you confirm those. And what, no, all. no. What are you what? doing? I'm going to help her. Back here. This is a ticket for the tailor that can pick up my dress. Pick up your dress? Yes, I don't do my... that. I'm sorry. Oh, you I don't, don't do It's either pick up the dress or stuff the envelopes. I love choose. envelopes. Give right, me some envelopes. Yourself, I love right envelopes. Oh, goodness, you're here envelopes. right in time. What? Goodness, to lend a hand. You know, we might just pull this party off after all. Yes. What? That's right. Why are you doing all this? Where's Caleb? 
Oh, we tried. He won't help. Oh, that old okay, bear, so Mr. Cooney. I'm telling you, he better drop his antisocial okay. attitude and quick. Okay, great. Well, at least for a few hours, you know? I mean, he is making his Pine Valley debut tomorrow night. I do not want him embarrassed in Palmer by scaring off all Don't the guests. Don't you worry. I'm going to have my eye on him all night long. You are. I need to confirm that you You're not... You're not going to be his date, are you? <laughs> Don't act so surprised. Yeah. Well, no. No. Caleb Cooney, come on, on a date, he offered me a ride. I heard about this guy. Boy, I can't wait to meet him. I can't wait. What? Well, he is a, a tough nut, but if we can crack him, I think we're all going to be surprised. I smell smoke in the house. Miranda went upstairs to find a toy. She should have been Take down it easy. by now. If there was smoke, the there alarms is smoke would have There's smoke in here. I was working on the wiring. You stay right there. Stay right there. Miranda? I thought you were on your honeymoon. Yeah, I'm on my way to pick up Emma now. I saw your car out front. Figured I'd see how you're doing. Well, JR and I just told AJ about the divorce. You okay? I think so. I hope so. I'm sorry, Marissa. About everything. It's not your fault. Look, what happened between us? It's not it just... what killed my marriage. JR and I never should have been mm -hmm. together in the first place. You think he belongs with me? No, I, what I think doesn't matter, Scott. You love her, you obviously want to be with her no matter what, so be with her. Be with her, be happy. I want you to be happy, too. I will be. <laughs> I mean, I still have AJ. Jared's not putting up a fight? No, he agreed to do this amicably. He wants to raise AJ together. And he promised that our son would be his top priority. I wish I could believe that. Your husband know you're here? No. Oh, lying right out of the gate. Great way to start your marriage. Once I'm done here with you, I'm going to meet Scott and Emma, and we're going to start our amazing new life together. Oh, I bet you're excited about that. Can't wait. Uh -huh. And I'm really busy. So what's with this secret meeting? I need you to understand something. What happened between us right before Scott walked in the room at the mansion, that can never happen again. What happened at the mansion was all you. You deliberately tried to upset me. I was just speaking the truth. You were daunting me. Oh, really, why would I do something like that? Because you want me to break down. You want me to admit my undying love for you. You've destroyed your marriage, and now you're trying to destroy mine. Because you want me back. Why do you want me to say it so badly, Annie? JR has messed up a lot, but he's a good father. He's also a sore loser. He would never make AJ suffer. No. Not, not on purpose. What does that mean? JR is really, really angry. And the kind of angry where he can't even think about anything else. No, I talked to JR. He doesn't want to fight. I mean, he even suggested that we could try to be friends. Just, just give it a little time, Scott, and maybe he'll be ready to do the same with you. Let go of this whole mess and just finally move on. Marissa, we both know that's not true. Okay, JR is going to make me pay for taking what he thinks belongs to him. Annie. He is so focused on revenge that no matter what he says, that's his top priority. What, and he just forgets about AJ? No, no, of course not. But while he's focused on this battle with me, he can't be the father AJ needs. You need to step up. I will. I couldn't save my marriage, but you better believe that I will save my son. You really just can't stand seeing me with somebody else. I'm standing right now. And guess what? I can walk away. What is this game you're playing, JR? It's called, I absolutely don't want anything to do with your life personally. Really? Yep. Then why did you tell me that marrying Scott was such a huge mistake? Because that was my opinion. And it happens to be your life. Right. A life that you're trying to destroy because you're jealous? I don't have time to be jealous. I have a son to take care of. I have a company that I have to run. Mm. But you can't stop thinking about me. Look, you've made it perfectly clear to me. You are 100% committed to Scott, and I accept that. But you made your bed. Now you have to lie in it. Literally. 
So go on. Have a happy honeymoon. I will. I have everything I have ever dreamed of. Honestly, I don't know why I even bothered calling you. No, I'm, I'm glad that you did. So I can wish you a good trip. Now, don't, don't think about anything back here. Just uh, you know, go walk on the beach and enjoy your champagne and, and be happy. Because honestly, Annie, that's all I want for you. You should go. Your husband's waiting for you. Glenview Road, and I need someone to hurry. There's a child in the house. <coughs> Is she okay? No. Fire's out. There's a lot of smoke in her room. Is she breathing? I don't know. The fire department's on its way. Well, there's no time for that. You've got to do something. You've got to save her. 